Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to retrieve the text string to the left of a character in Google Sheets. It's pretty easy to do. So in this video, we're going to be combining a couple different formulas. I just wanted to show you them broken out at first, and so we're going to show you this first formula, and then we'll show you the combined formulas afterwards. We'll just go ahead and jump in and show you how to do it. So let's say what you want to do is you just want to return the last name here from Scott, which is to the left of the comma. So the first thing we're going to do is use the find function. And then we're going to hit tab here. And it's asking what do we want to find. And so if we want to find what's left of the comma here, we're going to do quotation marks, comma, quotation marks. And then another comma. And then we're going to select that cell and then close parentheses. And so now it's telling us how many characters in that string up to that, that comma. And so now we know how many characters we need because each last name is going to be unique. So you can't just use a left function with four or five characters because you're going to get a different answer every single time. So what we're going to want to do now, there's a couple things that we can do to get the last name. So we're going to do equals, equals left, tab. So it'll give us the formula there. And then we're going to select the cell in which we want to return the last name or the characters. So we're going to hit a comma there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do find again. So we're just going to do the same formula. So we want to do quotation marks, comma, quotation marks, and then comma again. We're going to select that same cell. And then we're going to do close parentheses. But now we want to do minus one because we want to get rid of the comma. And then we'll do another parentheses. And then we're going to hit enter. And that's going to give us that last name. So again, what happens here is we did find, which, as we know, gives us the six characters, but is one extra character to the last name Scott. So we want to get rid of that comma. So we have to hit put that negative one there. And then close parentheses to get both those formulas. And then what we do now, we can just drag and pull. And it's going to generate, as you can see, all of the last names. It's going to give us the last name that we need. So this will work on a left function. You know, as a left function, it's going to vary when you have different number of characters and names. So... Let's say, you know, maybe you don't have a comma here. We'll get rid of that. It's going to give us a value error. All you have to do to change that formula, you just go in and be instead of do a comma, you can just do a space. And it's going to give us that last name. So again, get rid of the comma here. And it's going to do the exact same thing. So we know that this carrot this works to retrieve the text string to the left of a character. And it's pretty simple and, and easy to do. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions around this. I'd love to to help deep dive any problems you run into. And please let me know if there's any other videos or questions that you have. And remember to like and subscribe to the Excel Guide. Thanks and have a great day.